So I went to tune this piano today, which is a Haggerty upright piano. Someone asked me if I could fix it, if it was tunable. So um, we went there to tune it. Uh, the pins were a little bit loose. The, the tuning was way off. And, but the main thing wasn't the tuning because I can fix that reasonably well. It, it stretched well, um, but it didn't, it needed a lot of work on the action. So I don't know anything about Haggerty pianos. In the UK, we don't have them, but um, it sounded like a big, rich sound, but the action was really worn out. And I think for the cost, thousands of dollars to go through the whole action, new parts, versus buying a new piano, it's probably better to buy a new piano. that pressure point there where you see it bears down on, on the frame and on the bottom it bears down on the on the bottom as well and then they sell them for like they restore them fully yeah well they polish these with a the machine and then they change these tapes they clean they change the hammers they change the strings they, change, mm. they clean the back they change the pins they respray the frame the huge oh that's the one is that a file someone left a file in here yeah. oh okay what is that device you have there? That's a pedal rod. It goes on the bottom of the pedals. Mm. It's connected in the side usually and it pushes up against the action. But uh, it looks like it's broken, so I'm going to see if it's all there. It looks like a stick to me. Yeah, <laughs> it is a stick. Let's use pliers. Basically, the resistance of the pedal is, is, is very easy to do, actually, DIY style. You can screw it in if you want more tension. If you want less tension, you can screw it out. And then, but if you screw it in too much, it can not damper at all. It can be dampering all the time, so you need to make sure it works properly. That's clicking against the back of here. I don't think it's that. You can see all the green down inside. Is those are green? Yeah. It's all chipped off little by little over time. Yeah, it's all coming off. It's green. So the client didn't want to do any work on the piano, unfortunately, today. So I couldn't improve it beyond making it sound nicer and more in tune. Um, it's going to stretch with time, so the piano will go a bit out of tune quicker. But the big improvement would have been to replace parts in the action, to adjust the action, to get rid of the clicking sounds, to make it... It was very clicky, very loud. Unfortunately, there wasn't uh, the funds right now. Um, hopefully in the future maybe, or I'd recommend in these situations where it's a really old piano, where it's not a famous brand, where it's not an investment, unless if it's not grandma's piano or aunt Betty's piano or whatever, um, it's probably best to get another piano for a couple of thousand or a thousand if you're lucky privately. So thank you for watching this video. Please comment if you're a tuner, if you know more about this brand, let me know, educate me, and uh, thanks for watching this video.